Hello everybody! I was playing Satisfactory on my stream the other day, and I started thinking, what's the fastest way to travel? So there's a heap of different things to use to get around in the game. So we've got the vehicles, tubes, trains, running on conveyors, or just running, I guess. Or different kinds of things, like these jump pads. This guy's using it pretty well. <laughs> Look at him go. And to test all these out, I needed a way to test their speed. So I went out and I built a 500 meter racetrack. There we go. Oh, it's just over here a little bit. So this thing is 62 foundations long, which is about 500 meters. Oh, they're 8 meters each. 8 times 62 is about 500. Give or take a couple of meters. I'm Australian, so everything is going to be in the metric system. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, actually. So anyway, the first thing I did was set a base. So we just did our generic sprint speed. Uh, this took 59 seconds, uh, which is pretty quick. Actually, it's a bit faster than pretty quick. It's like 30 k's an hour, which is almost as fast as Usain Bolt. But the character in the game is holding consistently. Next, I did the sprint with the Blade Runners, a uh, sprint with slide, which is how I get around, and the sprint slide jump with the Blade Runners. And the info is pretty interesting. So here's those clips all right next to each other. And the times are Blade Runners at 49 seconds, Slide Jumping comes in at 43 seconds, and Slide Jumping with the Blade Runners is 44 seconds. Which actually means that just Slide Jumping without the Blade Runners is the fastest way to move on foot. Asterix. Asterix because moving with Blade Runners on a Mark V conveyor belt uh, is a lot faster. We did the track in 19 seconds. Which for you math freaks out there, you want to know the speed. So speed is distance over time, so that's 500 divided by 19, and that's only 94 kilometers an hour, or two and a half Usain Bolts. Next up, the vehicles, which I all ran on fuel. The first is the car at 34 seconds, then the tractor at 35 seconds, truck at 27 seconds, and the explorer at a whopping 24 seconds. But the slowest option so far is the Cyber Wagon. Coming in at a thick time of 1 minute and 31 seconds of my life that I won't get back. It's so slow. Third last in our test is the train. And it clocks in at 19.01 seconds, not including the time to release the brakes, uh, which is just barely faster than the Blade Runners on the Mark V conveyor belt, which was 19 point, like, 7. 6 milliseconds, guys. And that that's how long it took. Which brings us to hypertubes, which these things are awesome. At the top, we have a plain single entrance normal hypertube with 23 seconds. Second is a 5 launcher entrance with 16 seconds. Obviously this can be faster with more entrances. And third up is a 3 entrance launcher in a circle setup uh, with a ludicrous speed of 10 seconds including the build up at the start. Which is just stupid. Then we come to jump ads which actually placed higher in the rankings than I thought it would with an average of 26 seconds to go the distance. I ran it a couple of times because jump angles and stuff. I also made this monstrosity, uh, which uh, is actually still faster than the sub wagon with 49 seconds. It's actually faster than walking, which I didn't believe. Which brings us to our last test. And I know what you're thinking, but Michael, that was all of them. I can't think of any way, other ways to travel. Well, I'm here to say no, there is one more. And even if it does kill you 99% of the time and 0.5% of the other time you actually survive, I give you the tractor antenna. Uh, just give her a good whack and this is what happens. Pretty, pretty crazy, right? Uh, so what happens is that the antenna whips back and hits you. Let's break it down. So here we are at 10% speed. That's still too fast. Give me a sec. Okay, here we are, 5%. So what happens is we come through, we whack, and then the antenna springs back and whacks you and just absolutely sends you flying. If I play it again, it's about here where you complete the course, which is 0 0.03 of a second, which is ridiculous which actually works out to 60,000 kilometers an hour, or 1,344 Usain Bolts. Just damn. 
Uh, the one downside though is that this case it did crash my game and delete the save, so that sucks. But it was fast and it was also the last test. So let's go to the table of the fastest way to move. So I've put everything into a nice table with all of the data. So the fastest way to get around in the game without destroying it is a hypertube cannon, uh, which is pretty straightforward and expected. Unexpectedly, the fastest way to move on foot is just slide jumping without any Blade Runners, which was surprising, as was the fact that a train is the same speed as running on the conveyors. My god, I didn't even think about the shin splints. But now you know that the fastest way to move is the tractor, just not driving it. Maybe you should tell your friends to try it out. D don't, don't, don't do that. And with that being said, we're at the end. Let me know which way you guys go around, or if you believe me. Uh, comment in the section below, leave a like if you want to, subscribe would even be better, and if you didn't like it, show all of your friends. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.